Matt has to master before they become a complete guy. So he's still trying to work on the small details of Is there one he's, complete guy. he's trying to work on more than others? Is there something he's better at than I mean? Is it, is it something keeping him off the field or just overall? Kind no, of a little bit no, of everything? no, just a little bit of everything. I mean, and, 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 and obviously, you know, a couple guys are – are, are, are playing well, you know, right now, and and um, you know just hadn't had a chance to get in there and, and uh, play. But you know the main thing I tell my guys is that they have to try to one gain some reps on special teams. I believe running backs should be able to play special teams, and when they play those reps, those are the reps that uh, help them become better football players overall. So he's fighting every day to get on some special teams, but uh, works hard. He's a good kid, and, and when his time comes, he'll be ready. Coach, how did Marlon look today? I know that carried off at South Carolina. So how did he look today? Yeah, Marlon's fine. He just he's, he likes the theatrics of it. Marlon's <laughs> fine. He practiced today. What was his injury? Is an ankle? I don't talk about injuries. I'm not a doctor. I'm a, I coach running backs. You don't have to be that smart to coach those guys. So I don't talk about injuries, nor do I know what happened. He's ready today, though. How much does it put a true freshman? I mean, it, it, it hurts anybody to miss time. But how much more is, or how much worse is it for a true freshman to come in here late and have to? come back from injury and then try to kind of earn that trust that you were talking about? Uh, how hard is it for a freshman to come in and play? First of all, it's hard for a freshman to come in and play. Yeah, and, and then when you and miss then that when time, you miss practice, yeah. it's even harder. Yeah. So, yes. How, how close is Terrell to maybe being ready to, to take on a more significant role this, in this these final three games? It, it depends on him. You know, I mean, uh, the kind of practices that he has. Um, he has to have practices that, one, give him confidence. To give me confidence, gives Coach Jones confidence, and the play callers confidence, and his teammates have to gain confidence. So, um, you know, whatever you put on film is shown throughout the entire building every day. And that quarterback has to have confidence that when you're in the game, you're ready to play. You know, so he just got, has to continue to work and uh, put a good product on film. The last two days, he's done that. You know, we, we, we've uh, been able to do a lot of youth uh, inside drills and youth team periods, and, you know, he just had a really good practice today, you know, and, and got everybody excited about him. And, those are the things I tell the guys all the time. Like, your job is to make your teammates excited when you get in the game. You know, you have to make me excited. You have to make Coach Jake excited when you go in the game. And, uh, you know, right now, Jalen makes everybody excited. You know, Marlon does some things that gets you going. You know, so Darrell understands that, and uh, he's competing. He, he's not once said anything, and nor, nor will he, uh, because he knows his time is going to come, and when the time is right, he'll play. Which said that Saturday Jalen was kind of able to show some of his skill set. He felt a little bit more. Was, did you feel that way? Were there some things he showed that maybe for the first time he was able to show some of the things he can do in open field? He made some plays. You know, um, you know, uh, we were in a situation where we had a lot of plays. We had over 100 snaps. And, you know, with the more snaps we get as an offense, he's going to touch the ball more. So, you know, our, our theme for the week as an offense was uh, a win the first downs. And if we stayed ahead of the chains, we felt like we could stay – on the field a little bit more, which will allow Pig to touch the ball more. Jalen, you know, uh, Dobbs to touch the ball more. So I, I, I thought as an offense, Jake did a really good job calling plays, which allowed us to have more offensive plays, which allowed us to get him more touches. And when he touched the ball, he made plays. Coach, does it get a little nerve wracking like yesterday when it's Marlon's out and, and Jalen's in the training room and you have one scholarship guy that you're working with? And I mean, does that ever get nerve wracking? No, it's part of it. I mean, obviously, I would. Uh, you know, love to, to, to have more guys, more depth in this league. You need them. Um, you know, that's why we're hot on the recruiting trail. You know, we feel like we got some good guys that we're on. You know, obviously can't talk about them, but some guys we feel like can come in and, and give uh, make an instant impact, uh, but still want to continue to find some depth. You know, and, uh, you know, is it scary? No, that's part of it. You know, we feel like we got, uh, you know, a, a young guy in Darrell Scott that's going to be really good. Um, so it's really good to be able to work with him in one-on-one -on -one situations rather than, you know, work with Jalen and Marlon, those guys who kind of know what they're doing now. So it was good to kind of be able to work with those guys yesterday and today. Early on, you know, when, when the injury to Marlon looked a lot more serious than what it ended up being, what were the conversations between you and Darrell Scott? And what, I mean, what were you None, telling none needed. You know, uh, those guys, I tell all those guys to, to, to prepare like the starter, you know. So I, you know, and, and I, I think um, that if they have that approach, I don't ever have to say, hey, are you ready? You know, stay ready. You know, I don't have to go in there and say, hey, here's your chance. I mean, they, they, they know it. So he was ready to go um, if if needed, you know. But um, Jalen's a competitive guy. You know, he, he he looked at the opportunity for him to play more snaps, you know. And uh, he's in really good shape. And, and I kept talking to him during the game. He said, Coach, I, don't pull me out. So he wanted to play. And so as long as he's ready to go and, and, and wants those reps, he's going to get them. Looking back at the South Carolina game, just – what was that last four minutes like, just being down on the sideline and seeing your guys have some success? It was fun. You know, uh, uh, never panic. 
Uh, it's probably one of the best sidelines I've ever seen as a coach. Uh, offensive guys did a good job talking to the defensive guys as they came off. Hey, don't you know? Don't give up. Keep fighting. Uh, defensive guys would come to the sideline and say, Hey, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Keep making plays. So, uh, sideline was great uh, in the huddle. You know, whenever we got ready to send those guys out to the field, the look in their eyes was never one of panic. Uh, so it was just it was good to see a young team like that play together. Uh, obviously, a lot of guys made plays at the end. Uh, it, it, it was just one of those nights you always remember. Some backs seem to get better as the game goes on. Is Jalen one of those guys? Uh, you know what? Uh, you know, it's early in his career, so I hadn't had many of those uh, opportunities to really uh, be around him and see him uh, play late in the game. But but I, I would say, yeah, you know, early in his career, he seems like one of those guys. I think all those all the backs have it in them because they've all been in those situations before. Uh, you know, so so far, yeah, he, he's done a good job of, of keeping his composure. Um, uh, playing well early on and, and obviously being able to break through and break some tackles and have some long runs late in the game once the defense is tired.